Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a story time about the time that my brother got chased by a huntsman. Yes, you read the title right, you heard me correctly. It is the most bizarre thing to say out loud, but my elder brother, eldest brother, got chased by a huntsman. It was funny. It was scary, but it was funny. Basically, when I was a lot younger, I was probably like 10, 10 years old when this happened. Um, maybe even slightly younger, maybe nine. We lived in a four bedroom house, family of six, four bedroom house. And at this point in time, I believe, my older brother Josh and my younger brother Zach were in the same room because at this point I had, like it was my room. So I'm trying to remember like why I had a room to myself because for a long time I didn't. But at this point I had a room to myself. It was my room and as a little girl, um, I didn't like to keep it clean, so that's my fault. Um, but the day before this all happened, I had been cleaning my room and I made a dirty laundry pile at my door so mum could collect it and put it in the machine the next day. Well, remember that little pile? It was probably like this big, just sitting next to my door. I'll explain everything further, but just keep that in mind that that exists because that plays a big part in the story. So, the way my room was set out was I had like a square room, no, I had a rectangular room, but it was like, okay, brought paper and pen because I knew I wasn't going to be able to explain it. Let me just quickly draw what my room looked like, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, so this might just be the most confusing thing in the world. This is my drawing. Um, let me see if I can focus it. So, I knew it was going to be backward, backwards. I should have taken that into account. But basically, let me just try and explain this drawing first so everything makes sense. So, at the top end of the house, front end of the house, there's the dining room and kitchen over here, which is where Jessie runs to. That line is going to be important later. So, yeah, none of this is really that relevant, but it's just like to kind of help. Yeah, so lounge room, dining room, kitchen. This here, this like kind of white space where it's not scribbled, like every, every other room is scribbled, the white, except for my room, my room's not scribbled. Um, the white space here, all this, this is a hallway, okay? This here is an archway that goes into the hallway, then this is a hallway. The hallway goes to Josh and Zach's room, the hallway goes to the shower, the hallway goes to the toilet, the hallway goes to my room, and the hallway also turns off and goes to Jessie's room, okay? In my room, my bed was in the very corner, next to the window, or at the window, kind of, you know? This is my door to get out and in. And then next to the door, there was a little wall part. So it was just like a door, a little bit of a wall, and that turned in into my built-in cupboard. So that's what this is, this little thing, door, the bit of wall, and then it turns into my cupboard. This is my built-in cupboard. This little circle here is my pile of clothes that I left for my mum to pick up to put in the laundry. 
this little bit of wall is very important okay okay so what happened was I had just had dinner or whatever and I decided to go into my room to play or whatever I wouldn't know I was little I have no idea what was in all this space in my room here because I don't remember I just remember these specific things because they have everything to do with the story but I rearranged my room so many times while living at that house I don't know what it looked like then and there except for that my bed was here and the pile of clothes was at the wall bit next to my door okay I came in the door and I went on my bed just sat on my bed don't know what I was doing I was little but I remember going and sitting on my bed so when you walk in you don't really think to look at the piece of wall that's next to the door. It sounds really weird when I'm saying that, okay. So, behind me, that's a door, okay? And see this, this is a wall. But see how it turns off into a corner? That's exactly how my bedroom was set out. So this would be my door to get in. This piece of wall is down there, is where I would've kept my clothes. This piece of wall is where a huntsman was. And then it turns off and then into my cupboard. That's where it goes. To give you a better visual representation, that's what it looked like. So when I talk about the piece of wall, I'm talking about this piece of wall, okay? When you walk through the door, you don't really think to look at the wall because like, why would you? Why does it matter? So I went straight in, straight onto my bed. And then for whatever reason, I looked up and right about here, there was a huntsman just sitting there, a huge huntsman. Probably the biggest huntsman I've seen yet. I don't want to really see anyone bigger than that, but it was a huge huntsman. Now, in this house, we did get huntsmen fairly often. Not often enough to where I wasn't scared of them, but like there would be a huntsman in the house probably at least four times a year. So they were often enough to where I knew instantly what it was but not often enough to the point where I was so scared that there was a huntsman in my room. Yeah, I knew it was like relatively harmless or whatever and it wouldn't hurt me unless I tried to harm it. <laughs> Foreshadowing. But, um, hmm. yeah, I wasn't going anywhere. So I just screamed my little girl voice, high pitched as ever, mum, help. She obviously comes running, panicking, thinking something's gone wrong, that I've hurt myself or something. And she comes in through the door. And as I'm screaming, I'm pointing at this bit of wall. So she looks next to her, she sees the huntsman, and she screams. Thank you, mum. You made me feel so much better. <laughs> so she starts panicking and screaming, and she runs out. <sighs> Great. So then she was just like standing a little bit behind the door, kind of still looking at me, being like, I'm not going in there, I'm not dealing with it. Like, what do you want me to do about it? And I'm just sitting there crying thinking, what do you want me to do about it? I'm a little girl, like, you're the mum, you're meant to save me, hello. So she didn't end up doing anything about it, and she ended up going to get Jesse. Jesse is my eldest brother. Don't know how old he would have been at the time, but proper, full-grown teenage boy. So she went and got Jesse, and I believe Jesse got a container with like a piece of paper or something like that. Like that's generally what we used to do. So I'm pretty sure that's what he did. This huntsman was very smart, unfortunately for Jesse, and knew exactly what its fate was when it saw that container. So Jesse went to get the container and went to put it over the huntsman and the huntsman jumped down into my pile of clothes. So at this point, I'm really scared because I can't see it and I don't know where it is, I don't know where it's going to come from and I don't know if it's going to come right. So... <laughs> Jesse goes into his room, which if we recall, my room, Jesse's room, right next door. So he just goes, pops next door, whatever. And he goes and gets his electric guitar because it's heavy and big and heavy. I can't believe he did this. But he did. He went and got his electric guitar and came into my room and gets his electric guitar and starts slamming it as if he's trying to smash it, but he's not. And he didn't, thank God, um, on my pile of clothes to try and, you know, hopefully kill the huntsman. Mm -mm. So
so <laughs> the huntsman I guess realizes what he's trying to do um, and jumps out of the pile of clothes and obviously scares the crap out of Jesse scares the crap out of me so I scream louder which isn't helping the situation mind you and Jesse screams like a little girl and starts running down the hallway so from my door he starts running down the hallway this line is his path so he starts running down the hallway into the lounge room kitchen whatever area and the huntsman follows him and it was the scariest and funniest moment ever because instead of like you know scurrying like a huntsman you would see like just doing these ones it was jumping at him so he's running down the hallway screaming looking back at him as this huntsman is jumping side to side to side to side but slightly ahead each time so diagonally zigzagging side to side to Jesse running at him or jumping at him I don't know what it was trying to do obviously trying to hurt him in some way because Jesse was trying to harm it like I said earlier in the video it doesn't try and harm you unless you harm it and um, Jesse was trying so the huntsman wasn't happy and yeah it chased my brother down the hallway and this thing like I said it's big it's heavy it's a heavy little that one because you can hear it thumping on the carpet you can just see boom 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 as it's literally chasing my brother down the hallway so I'm sitting there laughing with tears streaming down my face because I was still you know scared and then a few seconds later because it all happened in a matter of seconds a few seconds later I hear it boom 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 getting closer to me I start screaming again because I know it's coming back and then boom 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 in through my door straight back into the pile of clothes so I squealed as a little girl would and after you know some calming down Jesse finally came back after being chased by a huntsman and screaming like a little girl down the hallway he came back with his electric guitar and started smashing the pile of clothes again this time was more successful than last but still like are you insane anyways so he starts smashing the pile of clothes again and this time it was like the most perfect timing because as he swung his guitar to go smash the pile the huntsman has jumped up again but gotten wedged between the guitar he's gotten his guitar okay so this is his guitar and he's gone like this to smash the pile of clothes again like this and then as he's just about to hit it the huntsman jumps up again but jumps straight into the guitar and Jesse smashes it so it was the most gruesome thing but watching it happen I literally watched this huntsman jump up and because it had gotten the momentum to go up and Jesse had basically just cut it in half with his electric guitar it just went boom split in half and like watching that as a little girl like scarred me because I literally just watched a spider jump up and be chopped in half and fall either side of my pile of clothes it was really scary and like really traumatizing um mm, yeah it wasn't nice but yeah that's what happened okay so you know insanity doing the same thing expecting different results whatever that was my brother you know hitting the pile of clothes with his electric guitar again expecting different results he got a different result but like if you think about it the huntsman was jumping up again to do the same thing so the same thing was going to happen but Jesse's accuracy this time was just a little bit better thank god but like if it had been slightly off like it was last time the same thing would happen so just Jesse you're a little bit insane but it's okay thank you for saving my ass but yeah just watching that as a child just watching a huntsman be split in half by your brother's electric guitar was yeah just really scary and traumatizing and scarring but like it was dead so I didn't really care I know there's gonna be a lot of people that are just like oh you shouldn't have killed it blah, blah, blah. we tried not to we tried the whole 
you know, container and paper thing, but this thing was way too smart for that. I'm just saying, I did not want a huntsman in my room. I was not sleeping in there until that huntsman was gone. So, yeah, and mum was not doing the laundry until that huntsman was gone either because she didn't want to go anywhere near my pile of clothes. But yeah, that's basically the story of how my brother got chased by a huntsman down the hallway. It was funny, it was scary, it was funny, but um, it was scary, you know? <laughs> really weird story time and you're probably not expecting it and it's like so random. But that's literally such a dominant memory of my childhood, was just watching this huntsman be split in half by an electric guitar. Glad he didn't, you know, ruin his electric guitar though. His electric guitar was fine, so that's great. Alrighty guys, that's it for today's video. Be sure to give it a like and share this video. If you're new to the channel, you should join the family by making the red subscribe button down below turn grey with the extra addition of the letter D at the end as well. I make videos every Sunday and sometimes Wednesday, so be sure to turn on post notifications to be alerted of those up and coming videos, as well as following my social media to be alerted on there. Also, thank you guys so much for watching, I love you, and don't forget, everything is going to be okay in the end, and if it's not okay, it's not the end. Cue the outro.